Fitness testing, learning AMC. So fitness testing is an integral part of any training program, with a coach using regular testing to inform further training, setting goals and targets, while also monitoring progress towards these goals. Before a test should be administered, there are several things that need to be completed and considered. The first is consent from the participant. The performer should be fully aware of what is involved in the test and gives their consent for the testing method to be followed exactly. Any equipment should be calibrated to ensure it gives accurate results, while the reliability and validity of the test is also considered. The reliability of a test means that results would be fairly consistent if the same person did the same test over several occasions. If the test was unreliable, there would be great variation of results. The validity of a test is how accurate the results are in respect to what is being tested. The practicality of a test is also a consideration. The majority of the tests involved in this course do not have a high cost and can test a large number of subjects in a relatively short amount of time. On the other hand, there are a range of fitness tests that require costly equipment and not time efficient and require special expertise to administer and analyse the results. These are the fitness tests you need to be familiar with for this course. The sit and reach test assesses the flexibility of a subject. Hand grip strength is tested using the grip dynamometer. The multi-stage fitness test, also known as the bleep test, and the forestry step test are both measures of aerobic endurance. The 35 meter sprint test evaluates a subject's speed. The Illinois agility run tests a subject's speed and agility. Vertical jump test is a test of anaerobic power while the one minute press up test and one minute sit up test are both assessments of muscular endurance. Body mass index, the bioelectrical impedance analysis and skinfold testing all evaluate body composition. 